The anti-pseudomonal penicillins were created in an effort to extend the spectrum of penicillins to give more gram-negative coverage and to effectively target Pseudomonas aeruginosa. These penicillins are also referred to as carboxypenicillins and uretopenicillins. The carboxypenicillins include ticarcillin and carbenicillin, while the uretopenicillins include piperacillin and meslocillin. Carbenicillin, ticarcillin, and meslocillin have been discontinued in the U.S. Piperacillin is the only drug in this class that is used clinically in the United States. Antipseudomonal penicillins work just like the other penicillins, and that antipseudomonal penicillins are competitive transpeptidase inhibitors. This means that antipseudomonal penicillins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors, and that antipseudomonal penicillins are most effective against dividing bacteria. For a more detailed review of the mechanism of action of penicillins, please refer to the video that focuses specifically on penicillins. Beta-lactamase production is a big mechanism of resistance for anti-pseudomonal penicillins. When piperacillin is combined with a beta-lactamase inhibitor, tazobactam, it greatly enhances the coverage of piperacillin, giving it useful activity against S. aurelius and Enterococcus faecalis, in addition to its already superior activity against P. aeruginosa. It is important to note here that piperacillin is always co-formulated with the beta-lactamase inhibitor, tazobactam. In addition to degradation by beta-lactamase, anti-pseudomonal penicillins are also subject to other common mechanisms of resistance that they share with all penicillins. For review on these mechanisms, please review the video on penicillins. The main aim in the creation of anti-pseudomonal penicillins was to make a penicillin that would cover P. aeruginosa. Targeting P. aeruginosa is difficult because it was resistant to many different antibiotics. Another goal in the creation of these compounds was to expand penicillin gram-negative coverage. Anti-pseudomonal penicillins, and specifically piperacillin, are active against many gram-negative bacilli, including P. aeruginosa and Klebsiella pneumoniae. In addition, piperacillin is active against most E. coli, H. influenzae, and B. fragilis. Piperacillin has the broadest spectrum out of all other penicillins. The adverse effects of anti-pseudomonal penicillins are very similar to those of other penicillins, including penicillin G. Hypersensitivity to the beta-lactam ring is the most prominent adverse effect. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.